need to go do this because I forgot to get that open. Oh, yeah. That, that Tinkers is almost as bad as Garrus and Garrus halfway across the planet. Actually, no, all the way across the planet. Uh, this is the wrong button. All right, uh, I'm streaming, and here we go. Let's do the uh, do the drivers meeting. All right, everybody. Congrats to Matthew Weeks on getting pole uh, tonight at Darlington. Just go through the rules real quick. Uh, the leader has lane choice on all starts and restarts. The initial start, the leader must go on green. On all restarts, the leader may control. Uh, later, the drivers must drivers must maintain their lane on all starts and restarts. Uh, Cautions are finicky here, so just be aware. We're going to do our best. If we see an incident that requires one, we will throw it, but it may be slightly delayed, but we're going to hope that the sim throws uh, throws it. And, uh, yeah, finally, when the uh, caution comes out, please catch the pace car. If you need to let people by, do that when they catch the field, and we'll clear any, any penalties rising from it. 147 laps. Let's have a good one. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, um, I have my button over the extend in case the back end doesn't catch up in time. Because I know it's a bit of a shorter track normally. If we need to, we, we can do, we'll do two. At least Casey has me do two if we need them at a track smaller than a mile and a half. Eh, actually, no, we should be okay. Yeah. That's good. Everybody yeah. got going. Quick. Yeah, I figured that was a, a thing. Because I, I vaguely remember, uh, I vaguely remember that in the rule book or whatever. Yeah, uh, and him him passing that information. Yeah, it's on. a good one. It's a good thing to have, that's for sure. Yeah, oh, especially on the on a track like New Hampshire or Milwaukee, that's going to be really important. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty, I'm going to go attach myself to the leaders. Make sure nobody does any stupid stuff. All right, I see no lane change. Riggs has got a much better drive off. Yeah. I think that was uh, no jump or anything, so I think she should yep. be good there. Yep. Oh, looks like somebody might have stood. He started from the pits or did he spin back there? Ah, Tigger spun. Enable chat again. <laughs> oh, Tuker. You got destroyed by uh, 22 there. Yeah. Jeez. Pretty nasty. It's just like a Dover, the uh, spin off off of uh, off of two is rubber. <laughs> the what? The, the uh, area where everybody spun off off of two oh. in practice is totally rubbered in now. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Oh my god. You got yeah, to go inside. I'm letting up a little if you want. Typical short Chicago thing too. Which yeah. Is weird. 
Very weird combo of tracks. Dover, <laughs> Dover, Darlington, and Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, the Chicago sure. land spinning stuff I never really Next expected eh? from like an intermediate track like that. Yeah. I think it's just how weird the track is there. Yeah. We're going to somewhere where we would have expected a lot of that stuff, but I never really saw much of it. I guess it's kind of a really wide track, and there's a lot of margin for error there whenever where? I drove it at least. Uh, fair, uh, the Super Speedway. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Nashville. I think I accidentally said fairgrounds. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, you said wide track. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, that, that is not <laughs> a wide track. <laughs> no, not oh, so much. Four wide. Four wide. Yeah, yeah, they did that on the back stretch when somebody hit the wall. They went four wide. So three people went three wide below the guy that was in the wall. And oh, somehow they didn't actually keep it off and they like kill each other. Oh my which God. is a miracle. I wasn't expecting you to check up that much, but oh, all was good. Who is that? Is that James? James is done is gonna be done here. I'm just not looking for a repeat of Wednesday, that's all. Okay. Thank you, Dimitri. Thank you, buddy. That's three times in the lab. Yeah, the pit. Yeah, he's got damage. Does he have uh Yeah, he's he blown. Yeah. He laughs in. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Looking at it from above, I never realized that that like weird sectioning off between the pits and between Maybe the pit boxes was caused by the tunnel and victory lane. I didn't even realize there was a tunnel there until like now. Really? Yeah. Like after like the first like six boxes, it's just a tunnel and victory lane. Then the rest of them go there, and then there's another tunnel where they stop the pit boxes again. Which there's three tunnels here, and there's only two tunnels at Daytona. Okay, don't know why I can't see Victory Lane. Yeah, that's right under the cookout banner. At least I'm looking at it upside down though, like the front oh, stretch yeah, is on yeah, the top yeah. right. Yeah, there's an ambulance over there. What do I see? I don't see a victory. I, I, I must have, I have the wrong thing. I must have the wrong thing on. Um, it's not crowd. Then there's the uh, advertisements at the top of the garage as well. I didn't realize that was there until I looked at it because that's not there on Google Maps. Did not. I, I can't believe I didn't know that that was there. That would explain a lot. <laughs> yeah. Seems like an odd place for it. Once again, it's like weird because it's. There's three tunnels here and there's only two tunnels at Daytona. Radio check. Spider radio check. There's the two. one at the right before turn one and there's a tunnel in lakes three and four. I don't think there's any other way to get under the track. So there's three here? Yeah, so there's one going towards turn one, another one coming out of four, and then one in Seven three. Red, we're going to have to check out once I got in front of you. You're good. I caught it early, bud. There's one in three. Okay, yeah. wait. So I see that one. I see the one on pit road. Yeah, there's a pedestrian tunnel right at the uh, coming towards turn one that's oh, uh, oh, it's on pit breaking road. the box of the car. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Did not know that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to learn a lot about these tracks <laughs> this season. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. Yep. I'd never been there, so I would have never seen the map of the track, which I uh, typically would. Yeah. I've never been there either, actually. Alex and I were discussing that like during practice, if we want to go here. Or go to uh, Homestead again this year. 
his his choice was Homestead, so we'll push Darlington off to another time. Yeah, I love Homestead. I wish I could go that one, again. That was a lot of fun. It's it's different, but it's like good different. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's you know it's another one of those tracks. It's not a whole lot going on around, but yeah, it's literally a pineapple farm around the track. Yeah, but uh, you know, in the in and out kind of sucks. Last time I went, they were doing major construction in one of the uh, one oh, of the that's... areas. So the two lane, I think it was a two lane highway in either side. Each direction uh-huh. turned into uh, one lane in each direction on, on one side. <laughs> so like, yeah. oh boy. And you were I parked there. Well, we were nowhere even near a two lane highway. We just parked out in the middle of like a field. Yeah. That turned into sand, and then I got in. Yeah. Should have. I don't usually go for the infield parking stuff. I just take whatever's free. Yeah, we park it. Well, we park outside, that was but, ballsy, but Kate, they, yeah. you out. There, there are two very clear. Ooh. There are two easy ways. Yeah, I don't know what else I was supposed to do. I just started uh, fast. Oh no, boy, there goes the O five. Not the O five. That was somebody else. There's a car stopped on the back stretch. Yeah, that wouldn't have been caution anyway, because he was off the track. Yeah. Did you see who that was? Or Rick, uh, saying... Alex Carr uh, made contact with Lane Doyle. Oh, okay. Lane hit the wall off to Carr, spun down the track, hit the inside wall, backed it up, yeah. and kept going. Just uh, not yeah. follow him. Tate is three times faster than the leaders right now. Coming out of two right now, looks like a big stack of cars. Not a big stack of cars, like a group of four or five that are all bunched together. And trying to get by each other. I think Casey said they were about 40 laps on fuel. Oh, wow. Slurred, I thought. I thought they would go like 60. I think that's what he wrote on the, on the broadcast notes. Okay. All right. Let's go pull that up. Because, right, yeah, I don't have that information. Um, production show. Oh, 60-ish oh, laps on fuel. You're right. All right, he's yeah. going again. Never mind. People are going to want tires because they have the tires. Smart. Yeah, leaders um, on the next lap or so we can go get closer. I'm going to go down to the low so you can get around me. Oh, Oof. Man, Silver's just not having a good day today. This car is a lot harder to drive than the truck was. Yeah, he, like he, was he had head. <laughs> shutters and smock crashed like five feet in front of him, and he had nowhere to go and got collected by both of them. Jeez. Mentioned everybody to be mindful of cars on new tires and the taste discrepancy. Maybe me, I'll go and then try it after the corner. Yeah, just be aware that we got guys pitting with coming out with fresh tires, and that there's quite a big pace discre- uh, discrepancy. So just be careful, either if you're the car on fresh tires or on old tires. 
Give and take. 84, thank you. Yeah, give and take. Alright, I'm having enough being negative. Let's see who's having a good day. Uh, <laughs> Matthew Let's Weeks see. is having a good day. Ross's Burger's having a good day. Riggs, Tate, Zach. He's, just, mean. he's listing out the top five. It's going down yeah. the list. One, two, three, yeah. four, five. We're extra, I'm looking, I, Vanderbeek's oh, having a little bit less of a good day now because he's now yeah. he just lost a spot. But Yeah. <laughs> Alex is up in the top 10. Husby's in the top 10. Brad's having a good day. Well, Feskin's having a very good day. He's up in the top 10. Yeah, I know. He uh, he started fourth, so he's, he's kind of dropping back a little bit, but he's running better than he did the drops. He didn't, yeah. he didn't get wrecked yet. So. Well, Finley was complaining about something. Let's go see what yeah, it might you be. You want it on the bottom? No, I'll hang behind you. Don't worry about me. Oh, he got in the wall in front of Casey. Uh, yeah, it looks, well, the damage disappeared on my screen, but anytime he's hit the wall, he's had his damage disappear for me. Benzo? Yeah. Yeah. Might just be the netcode thinking it's harder than it is. I exactly. think he broke his right, I think he broke his right front. Yeah. It looks pit pushed into me. Gotcha. Which you usually don't see other people's damage, but I, I, you know, like that, but yeah, it definitely looks, the wheel's definitely in further than it was before. Maybe he's going to have a struggle, he's going to struggle with the right front. Yeah. I noticed that if the truck crash, uh, that would, I was in one that happened to me in practice uh, on Wednesday, that I could see, like, my tire, my, like, alignment was bent out and stuff like that. Always it looked like that. It might have just been the truck being transformed from a truck to a banana. I'd like to see new damage model on the rest of the stock cars, though. That and GT3. Okay. I have no idea what Rabburn said because I couldn't really understand. That's all right. We don't have to. Huh. Boy, people are struggling here big time now. Yep. This is you know, a wonderful to, see. to finish first, you must first finish moment. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be happy. Kinzo's blocking something awful right now. The looks of it, only three cars have gone, have are like out of the race right now. That's Tooker, Shutters, and Smock. Yeah, Tooker quit. Yeah. Out, uh, so it looks like just a bunch of little hits rather than yep, big hits. Yeah, I mean that's that's a big deal. I mean it's yeah. it's been 
Been suspension. Yeah. yeah, I figured I could get around you and we'd have enough time to get yeah. back up. So yeah, I think that's just putting a wall by two by Finzo. Yeah. Now he finally gives it up. Yeah. It's really the only exciting bit on track right now. Yeah. I'm just watching where the clumps happen and seeing who puts who in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Lane's definitely looks like he's... No, actually, is that lean? I can't tell. It's not lean is relatively okay. Ah, looks like Davis has not squished his ISC property on the car. He's Richmond, not Darlington. Did he work for like ISC or something? I didn't notice he like does has like ISC sponsors on like most of his cars and trucks. He he, uh, he works for NASCAR now. Oh nice. Yeah, he uh, he's he's got his four regional tracks that he sells uh, group tickets and stuff, packages. Uh cool. four so Darlington I don't think Darlington's on the list. But ah. I, could, I could check that. <clears throat> I know Martinsville. Martinsville's one of them. Richmond, Martinsville. Oh, Darlington is on the list. Yeah, Darlington. Yeah, that's it. Nice. And it's six races between them because they each have two races. It's actually pretty nice, you know, to have, like, those tracks relatively close together as far as race tracks go. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's why it's why to do it by region, I guess. He gets to go to all those races. On NASCAR's tab too, so <laughs> it's pretty yeah, cool. It's good. Yeah. yeah, which we'd expect from, uh, from a salesperson. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> there was. I know my dad was looking to see if ISC or really any of the NASCAR biz has uh, any fine like hiring it up and like the finance stuff. But I don't know if he wants. To, he, he's not sure if he's wants to leave public sector stuff yet. But it's we're just trying to leave Connecticut at the moment. Ah. Uh. Like I, I like it here. It's just the jobs, at least in my industry, they're not here. The jobs in Alex's industry aren't here. You know, my dad and my mom can work anywhere, so. That's good. Yeah. You know, I'll definitely, like, miss being able to go to, like, Lime Rock and stuff and places like that, you know, being far away from Watkins Glen. Well, further away. But if I move somewhere else, it's, you know, new opportunities for other stuff to do. Yeah, depending on where you go, I mean, you might be even closer to other <laughs> tracks and, you know, yeah. places like Charlotte, like the Charlotte yeah. Speedway has different events going on all year. So there's always something to go watch or go participate in. Oh, of course. I mean, they got, uh, they got go-karts, they got go-kart, you know, the, the super speedy karts. I can't. I yeah, I've seen uh, those. Yeah. I, I'm probably going to stick in Melbourne once I go down. To be honest, because I don't. Most of the airlines that I wear, that I've considered working for, all have bases out of Orlando, Miami, or for, or Fort Lauderdale. So it's it just would make sense because it's all you know within three hours of where I would already be from college, anyways. Right. Plus, it's uh, I've had a, a nice enough time going down there and being able to go check out all the other racing stuff down there when I have some free time. Where uh, uh, like, did you uh, say? Uh, Melbourne, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, about, it's exactly one hour from Daytona if I go parking lot to apartment. And then Hello, David. it's about uh, right around two hours because it's kind of out of the way to go to Sebring. Two and a half, three hours to Homestead. And, you know, New Smyrna is up uh, like 40 minutes away. And then I can go to Orlando Speed Park, whatever, or the Freedom Factor. Really just kind of anywhere. There's just Thank so many, 25. there's so much stuff in such a small area. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. You know, visit the very very hit 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 yeah. I can visit the I can visit stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I can visit the combo. industrial park. That one, sorry, the uh, Publix uh, warehouse that once was USA International yeah. Speedway. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, parking, or the the warehouses. 
Yeah, the Amazon yeah. warehouse is whatever the hell like, heck it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my it, God. Just had, it was in Lakeland, if I remember right. Which there's nothing in Lakeland besides warehouses. I don't think there's any people that actually live there. <laughs> Turns out they all live in warehouses. Yeah. Everybody's just got be a surprised. container or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anytime I've driven through there, it's just car dealerships and warehouses for as far as I can see. Can't necessarily Come see on, shop. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like especially bad, even by Florida standards. I mean, Daytona was like, I remember 95 leaving there. Anytime I went between Lake and Lake Hotel and the track, it was just car dealerships the entire road and just nothing but car dealerships. And that's like the one thing I always like, I found weird about that place. Is it's just everything's a car dealership. Yeah. That oh looks God. like it's Simmons and Hall to Pit Road. It looks like a normal stop, though. Lane hit the wall. Yeah. A bunch. Yeah, I think that first hit with Fitzsimmons messed up his car. I'm taking that one. Notice he's been much slower and struggling ever since that. Yeah, I, his car. I don't know. He's hit. He's hit a lot. He's hit a bunch. Yeah. I would guess that he's got bent for suspension too, but I don't know if it's. Uh, definitely. benzo has got a meatball. Oh yeah, that's uh. Yeah, oh, he's gone. Yeah. And just had enough. Yes, sir. Land of pit road. Full Black course road. caution. Be careful. No, nope, that's a yeah. yellow. Where? Are you? On the back stretch, uh, something just happened on the back. Can you tell me what ha Can you look Nin at what happened to Lane? I'll take the yellow. 1974. Uh, 1994. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, We're under caution. Pits are closed. Um, 94 is what it's I, looking like I, to I, me. Yeah, I think, uh, what's his name, is upset just about the caution coming out shortly after he pitted. Okay. Sorry, man. Uh, I go down. It's not about this. Where's the leader? Awesome. Okay, so the 19 is out of whack. I, Next car, oh man, see this is the hard thing about this place. It definitely looks more on the 94 in my opinion. Because he didn't have to make that move even though the 19 was trying to let him have it. Pushed up into him. the leader. Weeks yeah. is pitting. Uh, that's. I, I'm I'm leaning on the 94 as well. I think that's. It's very very hit or miss on that 94. Yeah, yeah. penalty. Barrels. 19. Okay, I guess we we'll put that on the 94. But what just happened? But well, that's a penalty. I, I have no idea what. I heard penalty, but it got covered up by someone else too. So I have no idea what oh, they said. 888 went down and then yep. didn't. He's not going to get penalized for that. He didn't hit the cone. Yeah. He's gone. So. 47. <laughs> Alright. So uh, you're going to post. I'm writing it down. Okay, you're going to post the, uh, on, uh, on the yeah. officials for the broadcast. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll yeah. make a call. Caution will be on the 94. Uh, first incident, EOL. Oh. Did you get a, an alarm this morning? Uh, what was that? I said, did you get a, an alarm this morning? Yeah. Apparently, I excessively sped, which I guess is two miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since they changed the pit road speeds, when they bumped the pit road speeds up, they never changed the code to match it. So. Check up in turn one. <laughs> 
excessively excessive speeding was five over the limit. Was, was being five over the limit, but then they made the limit five a five over what it is and what it was. Uh, she'd probably be better on the apron if you're letting everybody go last. Yeah, I'm just trying to wait for a gap. Coming down. No clue, but I, yeah, I just give it to him whether he's on pit road or not, just so we can have it in the thing. We kind of needed that case, didn't we? Yeah, I think me more than you. Okay, Johnny, get ready. Hopefully I don't have to resume at the end of this lap. Right. One, two, three way around. All right, let's take three. Yeah, they're gonna make it back. No problem. No. Yeah. Well, Pace speed is a modest sixty, so. <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't kill the wall in the process, they'll be fine. That's 60. I mean, that's about what it is on any mile and a half, I think. Yeah. I don't have Yeah. Oh, yeah. So no, it's, it's actually not an issue. Not too bad. Issue. The question I have is what is going to happen on this restart? It's telling me to let the 84 go by race control. He, all right, I'm here. He's coming. He's coming. Move, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> give, give me an AOL, please. Alright, I got him. Yeah, 81 would like an EOL as well, please. I mean, it's a little late. Uh, it won't let me. Well, I was hanging down at the apron anyway. Yeah, it was too late. Green, 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 let's Someone go. Let us do it. Anybody's got blacks, let me know. Hey, Johnny, can I get an EOL? Uh, let me know if you will. Yeah, yeah. And he started on the outside, and looks like a clean restart to me. Yeah, Davis, got you. <laughs> I really wanted to black flag him there, but I'm not about yeah. to start doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no crossing over. Good. So it looks like they just barely didn't make it back in time the, for the wave around cars. But they were close enough to where it didn't really matter. That might have been caused by the guys who were down on the apron. Iris and telling him to stay behind them. Yeah, I'm glad you uh, checked the restart because I was sitting there making sure that there was no issues with the, uh, the back of the field. Yeah. Either way, I don't think they're going to be in a position to complain, so. New fastest lap for Lightly, 30.0. Again. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going in a little too hard. Make it more break, bud. All I, every time that I ran a car here, I always just decided to just be a little bit slow. Even if it, if it lost me time in the short run, that I made it up by not having any damage at the end of the race. That's exactly it. The, the old, the old saying to finish first, first you must finish. Fastest really lap applies here. Yeah. Especially in these cars, because they can take a lot, but. I don't know why you like, think that's a good place to pass. You had to hit it. Yeah. There was a... Uh, that played out like the best for me when they did an uh, indie official here. That was They did official for IndyCar. It, it was the Oval Fix at Darlington, and that was probably the craziest race I had ever been in in my entire life. That must be something. Like, yeah, 220 uh, around Darlington is just... It's got, a good down, it's got a good downforce, though. I mean, you're you're really going. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, but it, it's still, you know, it's tight. And even with the Indy car being smaller than a stock car, it, there's still not enough room to pass at all. And you got people trying to make, and the only place you can really make a move, in like at least any. just in terms of making a, just a regular pass, is uh, three and four. And you get in a dirty air in three and four, it's just over. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I imagine this thing. Imagine one and two. It's pretty, 
pretty decent to, yeah. to drive around, but in traffic, it's like, yeah. everybody's like, yeah. turn, turn, turn. Yeah, Three it's like four, I was just back it. in the corners up. Yeah. I was just back in the corners up a bunch and then just slowing down, seeing if I could just pop an extra way down. Do you still hit 220 when, uh, even with all the lifting and this, you know, oh, slowing yeah. down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you're flying here. Jeez. Just all the banking. I was looking up the qualifying record for Cup here, and it was 184 miles an hour for the average. And that was a real life Cup car. That wasn't even like I racing. Like, oh, I can just imagine. Oh my gosh. It's just such a fast track for its size. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this got brought up anywhere else, but I was talking about it with uh, with Casey. You mentioned that we would have a time for uh, this year for a C season instead of an A and a B, just because of the way the weeks you know, worked out. And one of the ideas I think we floated it around. I don't know if that was in public or not. Was that we would do like the C season would be like the time where we would go to like any of the like exotic tracks that are kind of weird or you know aren't always like that just wouldn't fit into a normal A B rotation. Like any track that would really just doesn't fit there but it still be fun to race out we would try out i hadn't heard that but the um, yeah but uh from what i gather if that would be something really cool to do during the summer i think yeah. just to give it like even if you do just a short you know season short point you know yeah no broadcast no short. just you know if we're you know if we do take the summer off the uh you know doing like a short short mini season with like that I mean, it would be cool to give it a go with some other tracks. I mean, the, the, the Twin Ring Motegi is, like, one of those tracks that I'm I'm not a huge fan of, but I think it could put on good races. I know yeah, I've been in I've a few had... that have been that have been real bangers. Yeah. But it's not it, one it's... that's not going to happen in a normal schedule, especially with Casey's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with Casey's with the AB. With the, the, yeah. the, the AB system's good, but having, like, a C when we have free time, that's, I think, a good idea, you know, just kind of, put out things that we wouldn't normally try or yeah, aren't really I stock mean, car racing staples. Yeah, I mean, you can see, and that's the thing I was talking to Casey about that. It's just, and DJ too, it's, you know, the back to back to back to going back to racing, to league racing right away is always, like, it's exhausting. It, that month yeah. off that you get between, you know, the December, January break isn't really a break because you end up doing you know, people. A lot of people do the Daytona, and a lot of practice tends to go into that. So, you know, and then when you're in the when you're in the uh, league ownership side of it, you know, you see Casey's got to put up practices or uh, recruitments and and kind of push the league yeah. out there. So, you know, if you take if you make two longer seasons and then have a you know have a summer and winter break on it, you know, you could do those really fun things in in the summer, in the winter, and have people show up when they can instead of trying to, instead of having them like being committed on a Friday night in the summer when it's nice out and then <laughs> yeah and then you know you're like oh ten dollar entry fee and then you know it, yeah, it's it's it, it's a very mixed up thing but you know if you if you you know you do the fun stuff right you get people to come out hopefully you sell you know you get you get decent turnouts for the stuff but you don't have broadcast and, and you just have a good time and you, you yeah. enjoy it i mean you you know then you'd also be able to race you know yeah, have, have some kind of easy and really fun shit. yeah the, the main concern that i ran into uh, hearing the long break idea was that it just we might lose change so there are a lot of people that have been offering to pay him above uh his marketed rate to try and bump other people out of slots and we kind of, I think, might have to try and defend the Friday night primetime broadcast slot that we already have, because I'd imagine it's one that a lot of people want. Well, I think that would be uh, up to them, Thanks, to them to figure out. I mean, that's not yeah. if that's if that's uh, the case. I think concern, I, so. I think yeah, I, Casey Casey needs yeah, to talk to James about that and see what's going on there. And then you know, from there on, you know, Casey yeah, and Casey and the rest of the admin team need to discuss that then. Yeah. <clears throat> Normally, I get used as the it, bridge for when something does go wrong between, you know, like with the Mason broadcast and stuff like that. I'm usually the one that goes and talks to James. Yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't do the negotiation stuff though, because yeah, there, there's a lot yeah. of there's a lot of dynamics to it. That's the issue is that yeah. you know, when it comes to you know, 
the summer, you know, I don't know. A lot of people like to race, but, you know, the league, how many people are going to return? You know what I mean? The, the, he's yeah. going to have to really start to push the league like now, if he's going to do an ABC season, because I imagine, I know that there's, there's some, there's been some talk from some people about just like taking a, if there is a B ABC season, if it is ABC taking just B off completely. Yeah. And just kind of like maybe show up here or there, but just like for the most part, just take a break. So, you know, that that that's that's the question. I don't know what everybody else is, is thinking on it, but yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, the broadcast might be the deciding factor on it. Ultimately, if that's the case. Yeah, because I would it's definitely important to maintain the relationship and more importantly, the actual broadcast rate that we have right now, because we get a pretty cushy deal on the actual broadcast themselves because we we're fixed. We aren't by the hour, unlike everyone else. So generally, we end up paying less than other customers, but we usually make up for it in viewership itself. Sorry about that. First time that's happened all night. That's weird. So that's why we get the kind of the Check deal we get. But it's we just got to be careful because like those FEG guys really, really want the Friday night slot. FEG. And they all, yeah, they and they have a lot more money than we do. Uh, it's, a, it's that uh, Ford Entertainment Group guy who sells the really sketchy computers. <laughs> yeah, and like rips people off of computers, but then just magically comes up with like thousands of dollars in prizes for his races. And then people oh. actually do get paid out of them in the amount that he advertises. Oh, okay. So so I, but he doesn't sell a lot of computers. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know where that money comes from, but it's money he seemingly wants to get rid of. Yeah, I don't know. That's uh, that's an interesting one. That you know, it's complicated. Yeah, the, the, the league. Yeah, the, the, the idea we came up with was uh, if we ever have a threat from FEG in terms of our broadcast law, we'll just tell the IRS about FEG and then we'll have our slot <laughs> oh, back no. in for additional funding. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Can you imagine? God. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a reason they give you a, a cut for any information for that, that leads to them. Capturing okay, money. You got it here. So. <laughs> You're good, bro. Just keep that relative up on your screen. You're good, though. He was everybody's. On my screen. I'm just not staring at it. <laughs> Seems everybody yeah, started to calm down a bit. Yeah, I think the people who are overdriving have finally either uh, knocked themselves out of the race or are. Um, just back take it higher, Kyle. Is that okay? Yeah. The car might be coming in better at night, anyways. Too, I can know. The, looks like the lights are on and the things are starting to get a bit dark. Yeah, you never know for sure. Yeah, you never know for sure uh, what the car is going to do once it starts to get dark. Yeah. What just happened there? Uh, where? Oh, uh, Roethlisberger like uh got loot, got tight, and slammed on the hit the brakes hard. And Riggs went to pass him low Thank and you, made a very aggressive move to the left <laughs> to yeah. avoid him, to avoid contact there. Well, at least contact was avoided. It's most I'm important. Part. High here, Craig. Is that cool? Yeah, no kidding. Absolutely. Thanks, man. No, that was a crunch from a green looking car, I think. Let's see. Is it a crunch? Rigs in the wall. Not hard, though. I think I've picked up is that like Craig hits the wall, but he's moving so slowly that it doesn't really matter. Like at hey, all. Yeah, me lab cars need to be more aware. Ooh, Kyle just took a crunch. I'm only saying that Kyle, of course, need to be more aware, but that was the reason it was slow as Kyle hit the wall. 
what is he supposed to do? Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> if he, doesn't, not, it's not, he doesn't belong to be out there for it. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, he, that's not him, you know, hitting the brakes coming out of the corner. That's him being Darling, getting Darlington. Like, it's. Yeah, and he doesn't, he has no, like, him getting out of the way is, is not required in a place that's dangerous to do so. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, come on. And he was staying nice and high out of the corner to stay yeah. out of the way, too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's why I didn't really move out of the way a lot during the truck race. So I'm like, I'm not going to junk my car to get out of the way. Yeah. And it's better that I just well, wait till a straight in my end. Yeah. And, especially when people had straight line speed over me anyways. Just getting out of the way in the straightaway is the most important thing. Like you can let it, you can let people go high in three and four and just, be, you know, yeah, be be out of the way confident. there. I wasn't confident doing that, so that's why I didn't bother over there. I just would do my best to get out of the way. Yeah, the the white the white dotted line around the apron there. The car in three and four, the car will the or car or truck will hold down there. You'll be a little bit slower, but you, you'll, you'll hold down there just perfectly fine like you would on, on the straightaway. One and two, one and two, there's no there's no safe way unless being unless you're completely off the track. Like, with, but that's not that's not safe for anybody to uh, to make a move there to even try it. Yeah, I think I just saw the save of the century. That was Silver's. Holy crap! He's hit a lot tonight. So he he on. he came off. He took a bit of a lick and came off the wall, spins out of four, spins it the other way, gets on the and gets it straight again without touching a thing on the inside. That was impressive. Definitely a situation he shouldn't be in, but impressive that he lived. Does he have another meatball? I don't know. Looks like it. Hang on, Jake. I mean, he absolutely destroyed the wall in that one. I mean, he hit with the right yep. front. He he just yeah. drove in there and was like, hello, wall, and that was, that's a meatball. <laughs> yep. James, buddy, buddy. Probably make a sub with that many at this point. <laughs> you what? Like here. Alex, oh, I <laughs> probably make a sub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that took me a second <laughs> yeah, to. to... <laughs> I, was, I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm really tired. If you couldn't tell, up to this point. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that was like, that was like the light bulb was warming up before it turned on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, Zach. Yeah, he's having an experience the looks of it. Yeah, he just did something that he knows better not to do. Oh, they... And he's That's not up. a place to try and take three wide. I'm glad he backed out of that. Oh, my God. He blinked out. Three wide to four is not going to... Be there go. Thing. Zach's fucking blinking out again. Oh my god, he's not going to be a happy camper. He's 63, 57, oh, yeah, he's, he gone. Is. he's gone. 55. Hey, uh, Rockets with you, you're uh, glitching out pretty good. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I think he's about to pull up. Yeah. So if I'm hitting you, I apologize. Oh, he's trying his best. He's not communicate. He's, he's, he's yeah. Gonna he's gonna pack it lost. There's no way he doesn't. He's been going down. He, he, quality was 57, 66, 57, 41. Now it's 39. Oh, it's going back up. That's good. Yeah, he might he might recover. Forty nine. 
Oh, he just went to pit like road. 60. That was inevitable. Ooh. He just hit the ball on pit road. Is he meatballed? No. No, alright, he just hit the wall then. It's a little weird though. He may have been trying looking over to figure out what, what his problem is. Yeah. He didn't stop in any pit stall in his pit stall, so Yeah. That Alex Carr guy, for whatever reason, his car makes me just every time it's like it reminds me of like the Rick Ware ones. It looks like a sorry the Cody Ware Rick Ware cars. Like it's just like uh Nurtech OTC purple. Like I think that exact shade. The who? Sorry. Alex Carr. It's like Nurtech oh, OTC, yeah. like Cody Ware purple. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. Remember, I, <laughs> oh, I saw that once twice. <laughs> Noticed that. Well, he's doing better than the Nurtech, the Rick Ware Racing pace. At least he's not last. <laughs> oh, Roethlisberger just left. Yeah, he left. He went on. Hopefully, he got out. And yeah, I think he'll. Hopefully, he loads back in. I mean, that, if it does, hopefully that fixes it and he can just salvage what points he can out of it. Yeah, I'm starting to think he's. Hey, Gareth, on the next uh, straight, I'll yeah, go he's done. If I were to guess. Alrighty. We can lose five more points here, potentially up to five more points. Yeah. I, I you know. Is that I mean, like there's so many people already out that. Sorry. I mean, Kyle is still on pit road. Yeah, he seems like he'll be there for a good while. Kyle's, yeah. You notice he doesn't quit though. He usually stays all the way to the end. Delph having a decent run. He's up in six. He hit the wall. Though. A few laps ago. Yeah. I'm surprised. He's definitely been able to hold it together at least. Oh, there's a the message from Zach. Let's see what it is. Not sure what the problem with the internet is and why it occurs every Friday night. Hey, Megra Nico, when you get close, I'll uh, go inside. <laughs> Do you just call him, like, Megra Nico, like, <laughs> like, crew chief died? Oh, yeah. <laughs> James leaves pit road. And yeah, back out, Danny. Rex at leaving the boat. Pit road. Yeah, it's like Alex had a wall crunch, but he's... Didn't seem to have lost too much. He was a right rear, so. If he's lucky, it's just body work. Oh! That's not good. Jeez. What did I just miss? I looked down for uh, two seconds. So, oh, oh shit! Casey was fucking me. That was a heart attack. Of course, oh. I'm the one that gets fucked over by all that. Did you say no? Yeah, it was a tap between. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, Delph and Rogers, and then. And guess what? Gareth got a meatball for hitting the wall, avoiding that wreck. We're coming yeah. out, of the, out of the corner, hitting it. I think you just gotta like punish for trying to do the right thing. Well, actually, he's not going <laughs> in, so maybe he doesn't have a meatball. He does have a meatball. Oh, he does? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. yeah. Coming high here, 22. Tabo Dine just got a speeding penalty in the truck race. He was speeding in sections 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is a lot of section. <laughs> yeah, apparently he was cali his uh, speeding thing was calibrated for first, and uh, he was in second, so I would uh, justify that. Yeah, that was a really bad race for me, boys. Hero's gonna have to go in, yeah, like, now. Bad. He can't stay out. He's gonna get DQ'd if he doesn't go in. That was Does he get three laps or five laps? It, which it, that's very possible. I think it's five. But. I mean, he doesn't look like he's got any damage and he's not really lost that much pace. It's suspension. If there's damage, it's suspension. Yeah. And you don't always see the damage as a viewer. Like, he would only be able to. Tell that, Brad. I didn't realize you were lifting and I was just. We're going to wait. Yeah. Thank you, McCorkle. It's going to be pretty awkward for Gareth, though, because he's got newer tires than Alex, so he's faster than him in the corners, but, like, only at, like, some parts of the corner. Because of whatever damage he might have on his right front. Casey's going to be very uh, upset about this again. Yeah, well, he was very upset to begin with. Oh, oh no, he didn't yeah, get DQ'd. He just blinked. Yeah, I mean, he w it would be at the end of a lap if he got DQ'd. There it is. He got yeah. DQ'd. I am ah. so sorry. Wonder if he was just trying to salvage a lap. I know. If even then, if he was salvaging laps, it was better off going to pit road. He's still going. He hasn't been removed from the server at all. What the fuck? I have never. That's got to be glitched. There's ever. no way that's not glitched out. I have never seen this before. If he goes into his pits, there he goes. No disqualification message. What the fuck? Because normally it says user was, you know, name was disqualified from the race. Unless it was just the slowest DQ to ever I'm DQ. Pitting. I'm pitting, David. All right. He's done. That's all I know. Yeah. I'm in a dodge sandwich and I'm scared. Gareth has mainly you know, disconnected. He won't be in the sandwich anymore. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really know what's... Uh... Oh, Silvers has another meatball. Oh, no, that's just because he's on pit road. Never mind. There's only 19 cars left in this race. That's a lot of attrition for, like... Like, attrition versus, like, yellow count. That's probably some of the worst I've seen this season. Yeah, that's part of it when you have yeah. the self-cleaning racetrack, quote-unquote. Yep. And the track yeah. where nothing cleans. The kind of trouble that's been up front, though, is definitely not something I would have had on my bingo card for today. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, if we get a late caution. I mean, we're starting to run out of time here, but if we get a late caution, this, this race is going to turn into a crap shoot. Yeah. I wonder if Gareth stayed out just to pass Zach. In the that event. is ex exactly what he just did. If he had just, um, like he didn't know how much damage he was going to have, so he didn't want to take it. the risk that it wasn't going to be done, fixed in time or something. Yeah. And he that explains why he took it to pit road then, because otherwise he would have okay, just known he would have been deleted anyways and you know, stayed out. He got 
just what, one lap on, uh, on Zach there? He's got, yeah, looks like a lap on Zach. At least that's what the thing says. There's a little cluster around Van Casey Mead. and around the three. So. Looks like Vandermeer's sneaking up to Husby in weeks now. Yeah, we'll see Hus how that goes. I'm starting to think, uh, I think Husby's in that. Ooh, when weeks, weeks just got in the wall. Yeah. I should probably specify which week. <laughs> we forget that there's two. Yeah. <laughs> what five zacks too in addition to that <laughs> like maybe maybe it's just two but it always feels like five yeah well there's I'll go low and, uh, lap you got the one in trucks now too so <laughs> yeah zach king yep yeah i'm just hoping to finish a truck race this season that'd be pretty nice yeah i i think yeah. I, think, I think it'll be possible <laughs> yeah. i think i think it's just kind of getting through those I, uh, I know i'll at least finish montreal i can get to the it. end of that race i've been Having a blast, just playing yeah, around with the truck at that track. So, yeah, I just picked that. Uh, I just played around with the truck in Montreal in my free time, just because I oh, yeah. like the track and car, yeah, uh, the track and car combo. So it's. So I think I'll make it to the end of that one at least, if I don't make it to the end of any others. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I think we're, we're gonna try to post the setup for that race early because uh, I think we're gonna work on it in the next uh, next break, next off week. We have a we have a setup whatever worked out just so people get some laps in it because I think people are gonna need the laps between here between trucks and and, and Arco. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what it's up. Putting a flop. Understood. I love it. Seven in this time. Of course. <clears throat> I haven't had crew chief try to call out uh, the stand yet, have. so I'm curious as to how that'll go. You got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Never had a crew chief call what? Sorry. Uh, Feskin and out at all. But I think that's something crew chief might uh, struggle with. I think. No, don't hold me to this, but I think they've gotten him right. I think they got okay. him right. I could be that's wrong. Good. Could be wrong, but I I vaguely remember him being. Right. Okay. Green flag pit stops. So we've seen that coming. Yeah. I mean, we haven't really. I mean, we've had a couple incidents that potentially could have been cautions, but it was just they cleared themselves from the bottom, or yeah. they just got the car straight and going again. Yeah, exactly. And you know those one two car accidents this place typically has those accidents where you get spinning. you spin off like turn two you hit the wall bounce off the wall get turned to the inside wall right and then come right back yeah. across the track i wonder if the damage model of this is stopping the bounce i am that bounce i effect. would say that's probably what it is because i've never really had those bouncy crashes on either the gt4 or the tcr as well yeah I I kind of don't like that. I want iRacing to not fix the crash physics at all. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to see the car go things. flying through the air. and, and, yeah, and All that. That's go. something I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> like iRacing crashes are... Occasionally, I will set up the AI and just kind of treating my bowling pins and see what happens. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's like soft game. But... I'll, just, I'll just do like... Uh, one, one thing I do if I set up like... A, I think 60 V's at Daytona or 60 USF 2000s. And then I took like a, uh, I think a cup car and I went the opposite way, mashing six to clear my uh, disqualification as I drove it the wrong way. Oh my and God. just went bowling. <laughs> oh them. my God, dude. Yeah. I can't even imagine that. And once I cup to the new Thank damage you know. model, that'll, yeah. that'll be something else. I mean, you'd have to take, uh, but that, yeah, I was going to say it. They have to. Yeah. They don't. They don't state new damage model in AI. Right? If you, yeah, if you uh, have a car yeah, that's yeah, not cool. new damage model yeah, with them. That's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I was and gonna say it's. I can just imagine. Uh, I can ma just imagine what that would be like if. Uh, oh, you no, took, you're good, man. I don't know. It's Something the with the new car. Yeah, the Indy car, the TCR. Yeah, TCR. Yeah. I mean, that thing. Most that things are a blast. Brick. It's more of a brick, yeah. so I guess that would work. Yeah. 
That, that car is actually a lot of fun. All of the, uh, at least the ones that I've driven. I tested the uh, Honda at one point, but I bought the uh, Hyundai one. Those little, those little cars are a lot of fun. They've kind of, at least in the Hyundai one, they've really fixed the under. There's, it doesn't feel understeery like most TCRs do, which was really interesting. I don't know how what kind of suspension trickery they did for that, but it's been a blast to drive it. For which car? Uh, the uh, Elantra NTCR. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done yeah. any. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I have the Audi. What is the Thank Audi you, NTCR? Yeah. I haven't. Uh, I haven't driven it in a while, and I definitely. I mean, by default, then I, mean, I haven't driven against the Honda. Rogers, but uh, yeah. I can just imagine with that. I think it must be fun because I see. A lot, I saw a lot of positive things about that car. Yeah, they're they're all just a lot of fun. Like you can. I mean, the touring cars, so they're going to drive a bit like, you know, stock cars in terms of being able to race side by side. And, you know, if you like just, you know, like if you have a small tap, it's not going to break the car. And they just kind of play nice like that in terms of not having a lot of damage, but also they're just fun cars to drive. That should be the same. Oh, I'll let you go out of two, buddy. That should be the same thing as uh, uh, the Brazilian stock cars, huh? Oh, yeah. I. Uh, yeah, I'm actually probably going to snag one of those. I don't know which one I'll get, though. Yeah, if I want the Chevy that. or the Toyota. So I'm pretty sure we're getting them those this time. And then Greg Hill posted uh, a screen, uh, some new uh, yeah. loading splash screens. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Winton and, uh, and uh, I-55. Yeah. And I then, can't uh, wait for Winton and Sandown. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's going to be amazing just to have those V8 tracks and given we have V8 AI. Oh, my gosh. other track uh and it was one in france and i just forgot the name of it they they said put they just had their track released for a set of corsa but also put on their website a coming soon to i racing banner I, I just forgot it's a grade one circuit but i just forgot the name of it in france yeah and it's not paul ricard let me see what the name of that was Somebody spun off to you. Oh, it was, uh, I think it was Magni Core, or Core, whatever you call it. it was... That's Moody. And he, 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 he towed, like, immediately. Thank you, Craig. Yeah. Oh, good out. I don't know what Moody was doing there. Yep. Nothing productive, I can say that. I think he was trying to get out of the way. It's one of those... He was trying to do the right thing and then ended up doing the wrong thing. Yep. Thankfully, he uh, cleared himself quickly. That would have been Love a Yeah. Again. Bro, just, just stay up. God almighty, bro. Oh. There is a disagreement. Let's go look. Yeah, the one got in the wall and then cut it down right in front of... Vandermeer. Vandermeer, yeah, and that made him lose the spot to uh, Husby. Yep. I'd be pissed. I would be so yeah. mad right now if I was him. Yeah. I mean, because that's where the racing is right now. It's it's a fight for third. There's nothing else to be had. Yep. You know, fighting for an interview. 11, yeah, 11 seconds up the road is Riggs, and then 11 seconds ahead of him is the leader. Yep. Oh my god. What a mess. Half the field's going to be lapped down. Mm -hmm. What lap are we on? Oh, we still got 20 to go. 122. So we're just over an hour in, right? Uh, hour seven. Yeah, hour seven. Yeah, right about there. 53 minutes, 53.20 left remaining in the server. <clears throat> We'll definitely make it to the end of this one unless well actually no we're good we're gonna make it to the end of this one we'll run out of oh, green yeah, check no before we run out of time going low, going low. uh that track that you're talking about is it it's a road course Thanks, guys. yeah it's a road course oh i-55 video okay oh, hi, Nick. i did not see that earlier Thank you, sir. You can have it in, please. 
There was the Linton screenshots. Page five. Yeah, it was uh, MagniCore. That was the one. MagniCore? MagniCore, yeah, in France. Apparently it's a F1 grade track, they just don't have F1 there. Hmm. <sighs> I feel like I should know this, this track, but the name means nothing to me, so I'm gonna go, uh, yeah. go look up a video. Hopefully, uh, hopefully yeah, nothing happens. Yeah, platforms. <laughs> Set a Corsa, and then coming soon to iRacing. They must have signed something, but they haven't been scanned yet, or whatever. is somehow still in the race and moving again after 14 minutes in the pits. Who's in the pits? Uh, they were in the pits, but uh, Silver was. Silver's was for 14 minutes and he's out again. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. 18, 845 seconds. Yep. Well, he certainly isn't giving up. No, I respect it, but you know you're yeah. not you're not gonna learn anything by uh, by quitting the minute you get any sort of damage. So, yep, that's good for him. Oh, Mag oh, get oh, that. oh crap! I know Magni cores. Yeah, oh, this is a GT a Gran Turismo track. This is, or ah. it was a long time ago. At some point, yeah. Yeah, it may, it may have not been named that, but the track. Um, similar to the track layout, similar. like the one, two, three con, you know. Yeah. I'm staying there, help you. I don't think there's a tunnel here. Don't worry. Mountain tunnel. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, no. That, that, yeah. This is this is a familiar layout at least. You didn't see that, Casey. You I mean, you don't have to try to keep up with me, man. You can back it down a bit. I know I'm intimidating and all, but First time he's been behind someone in a hundred laps. Mm. Stuff happens. Me and Alex and Brad racing for racing each other right now for twelfth. Okay, this is definitely not that Grand Turismo track that I was thinking about, but the yeah. uh, the layout of one, two, three definitely looks like it. <laughs> yeah, I've never yeah. seen anything here. Yeah, they were Kind of makes me think a uh, high speed ring for whatever reason. I don't know why, but that's what it makes me think of. It looks fun though. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you, I can't. I can't think. I don't know what the name of the Jeep Grand Turismo track that I'm thinking of, but man. You didn't see that either. High speed ring. Nope. It's been a while. Yeah, that new Grand Turismo looked really good, but I am. I've. I can't justify a PlayStation purchase for that. Hopefully they do something crazy and release it on PC. Yeah, it's my, my I've, I've always hoped for that because ever since the, you know, my steering wheel doesn't work with the Gran Turismo, so, or it doesn't work with PlayStation, so, it's yeah. been, uh, that's been a big no, no go to racing games on there since. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Xbox bring forth to PC, it's not terribly out of the question for with Benita bring yeah but Xbox yeah. Windows you know, yeah. Microsoft yeah. a little bit easier in that regard yeah I mean it's both designed they're both designed for the same you know AMD RDNA 2 hardware so it's so it probably runs on something at least similar to x86 so it's probably not impossible you just have to do a little tooling to get it ready what the hell is Taurus Trophy? You ever heard of Tur Taurus Trophy? You didn't see that, that sounds familiar. 
Both of these cars are driving terrible right now. PlayStation 2 game. No, motorcycles like G like Gran Turismo. What the heck? Yeah, I have never heard of that before. Yeah, it sounds really familiar. And it had high speed ring. I'm watching a video. <laughs> Watch yeah. I have a video here with high speed ring and all yeah. these different Gran Turismo tracks. Gran Turismo games. I mean, Gran Turismo yeah. Five Prologue. Uh, I mean, I, I've had like TGS Pro races where nothing would happen, and I would just like start watching something on YouTube, waiting for. And I just had the crash sounds turned way up. Turned way up. So. Yeah, I mean, go like, high, you know, man, go high. At this point, someone's gonna say, "Oh, they're wrecking." Thank and you. Then you can quickly jump over and be like, yeah. <laughs> "Take a look at what's going on." That's the multi-monitor advantage right there. Yeah, exactly. Even though I'm looking at my phone right now, I have three monitors and it's not good enough. <laughs> yeah, Chronicles got Goddamn. really, really, really old tires. He's been out for 41 yeah, don't laps. Don't your race, brother. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, he's off strategy because of the, uh... I'm just here for the points now. I got ruined on the first lap, so... Just trying to get around. Yeah, I get it. That's is weird. There... So Silver's is fat... So Silver's has fresh tires. He's much faster in the corners than Alex, but Alex just gains, like, almost all the back of the straight. Damage. If I can get back on the track for one more lap and beat, uh, what Gus Moody, I can get 19th, so... That was one way to pass. He's got to do it quickly. Thank you, Greg. Ooh, Peskin really yeah. just threw it in there. Yeah, I mean, he kept it. Looks like he kept it off the ball. Here, all stuck to each other. One, two, just third to What do you want me, 56? Uh, we'll figure that out in a second. You got it. Coming off four, just go low, okay? 10-4. Thank you. Anytime. We'll take the inside, James. Appreciate you, brother. James is going to be so close to passing Gus. Yeah. Husby's in third. Oh, okay. No, no, okay. All right. Wow. I thought I was still following you, Tate, and I was like, there's no way he's about to lap third. No problem, man. Go get him. Yeah. If we didn't have that caution, he would have. Oh, ho, buddy. You extra didn't see that, and hopefully you just the broadcast. <laughs> I'll let you go on the back here. The Gatorade winning move. Sorry about that, Mike. Thanks. God, Tate almost wrecked on the front stretch alone. Okay, I'm going to tight, so we have an option there. Started Sorry. 141. He went into turn one. Thank about you. four lanes off the racing line. Our rate just spiked about 60 beats, I think, Casey. I was screaming on Discord. I was like, Kate's wrecking, Kate's wrecking. We gave her one hell of a run there off turn four a couple times back.
Your Highness. Well, I'll let you go on the back, Alex. I appreciate it, other Alex. Gracias, muchacho. Third, fourth, fifth, and yeah. sixth are on top are all of each other. Nose to tail. Yeah, and Zach Rogers is probably like looking his, lo looking his is, lips right um, now. Serious, like, potential for disaster here. Especially if they get desperate at the end. So it's. Husby's got to force something. Three, He's going to try it. Three to go, yeah. Well, Leeks, Leeks is definitely looking there uh, for Vandermeer. The Matthews has had a terrible drive out of the two, though. Hit four, man. Where we go next week? Milwaukee? Is that true? Yep. Milwaukee. Damn, I wish I was raising that one. Um, Thank you. Do we have a setup for I don't know. It'll be a... Yeah. Yeah. I should have known that because I did race here last year in the Little League. Race there yeah. Might be one. I know they were there recently, at least. I've never seen the Erica Break Weekly video of it. Your win, Tate. You deserve it, son. You pass on out. It's the last lap. Come on, get out of the way. Uh, telling Brad Delta to jump out of the way is not. He doesn't normally comply. He usually causes the wreck. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Not on the last lap, just generally. Good job, Jake. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Thanks for running me so great. I appreciate it. Like, super. Master super class of defending up. there. Good win, Pete. Moody has just retired from the race. Oh, that was everybody across the line already. Good win, or good win, uh, Tate. <laughs> What's that? What's... Nice job, everyone. One caution at Darlington. Super impressive. Yeah, 15 cars are out of the race. Yeah. Guys. Say yeah, good win, uh, good win, Tate. Uh, next week, we're at Milwaukee. Thanks for coming out. Thank God we go to a damn short track. It's a mile. You were in that one, Jake. Good job, man. Why don't you just kiss his ass? Yeah, from what I had up there in the race control booth, I'm just glad to walk out with 19. <laughs> yeah, you hit everything but the pace car, bud. Yeah, thank God I didn't run him over. By God, I got sued. <laughs> Enough meatballs there. You can start selling subs. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell you get three meatballs with a two X now? By God, I broke the record. What about subs? <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, if you keep if you keep hitting the wall with the right front tire, that'll that'll happen. <laughs> that was a pretty I know, I know. good burnout from. I, I did just get off of work and only had like ten minutes of practice. I should have should have gone off way earlier and had some practice. I'll still look decent. Uh, feel decent. <laughs> it was recovery mode after the first hit, so good job, guys. Man, we got it done quick. I can. Yeah, I have like yeah, two hours to finish night. my homework. This week. was a good night. Yeah, it should be a good race. All right, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We'll be back uh, next week. Bye.